It looks like a bear attacked me. Careful if you got ice racing tires. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tax Garage. Today, we're gonna talk about tire storage. So let's jump right into it. So guys, it's been a while since I actually filmed this video. I filmed this video before I redid my garage, but I figured it's a good time to share this video now as we're going into a different season, meaning some of you guys need to store your summer tires and bust out the winter tires. So let's jump into today's video. But before I share the video, be sure you like and subscribe and be sure to leave a comment down below for your chance to enter in to win $3,700 of Sonic Tools. So let's jump right into it. Well, I am in the middle of doing a garage refresh. So if you've been following me forever, that's how I started my channel, was building my dream garage. And it's been about uh, hmm, a year and a half and I'm gonna change things up. Now that I've been using it, I've built couple cars in here. I haven't finished a couple cars in here, but I've been using the garage and now I want to change things up. But with change things up, I need to figure out where to store certain things. Now I have had these uh, tires for my ice racing car, just the dolling around for the last year. And to be honest, I'm sick and tired of moving it around. During race season, it would be fine just to leave them on this because I have to switch them in and out because I can't drive with these babies on the road. So I'm fine having these on the dolly, but now it is spring. There's no chance of ice until, I guess, eight more months. So let's put them up on the wall. And I have been using this Max Hall tire rack. This is my third one. I've been using them for about a year and a half. So I definitely recommend this, but today we're gonna be installing it right above these freezers. Now, I don't have a space in my house to put these two freezers, so I leave them in my garage like most people. Um, but there's plenty of dead space right above the freezers. I don't like storing things on top of cabinets or freezers. I've been known to do that, but then you just accumulate junk. But this is a rack, these ties on there, it will stop me from leaving things up top there, keeping my garage looking nice. So this will be a quick, simple install. Let's go over what you need if you wanna do this. Firstly, you're gonna need the tire rack. This is a max hole. If you have a YouTube channel, you're gonna want a GoPro so you can film some things but you're watching me probably because you don't have a YouTube channel. Uh, I'm gonna be going with the lag bolts straight into the studs, and then you're gonna need an impact. I always use a laser level. This is my most used tool, I would guess, in my house and my garage, so I'd highly recommend you pick one of these up. And then uh, a stud finder. These ones are the best where it actually shows you the stud, so I recommend you pick one of these up. These two tools are unrelated to this project. You'll use them all the time. So make sure you pick those up, but let's get installing. So let me just show you something real quick. Here is a picture of the actual tires on the tire rack. You can see the tires hang below the actual rack as you know, they're around. So be sure you keep in mind about that distance. Now my tires are super spiky, as you can tell. So I'm gonna give an extra, I don't know, a couple inches above the freezer. So when I put these on, firstly, these spikes are sharp. I don't want holes in my freezer, but uh, that way there's a good amount of clearance. So I'm gonna figure that out real quick, throw up my laser level and get installing. So just one thing you gotta keep in mind uh, before you get installing. I have five tires here, one spare. I need to measure the width of the total tires because this rack is adjustable from 32 inches to 48 inches. Now, obviously 16 on center is the studs in your wall, so you wanna find the studs and that's gonna dictate how wide you can go. But my tires here, all um, five stacked are about 44 inches. So I'm going to go the full width, if you will. So let's get up there, figure out where the studs are and uh, get installing. And we are level right there. That is done. Let's go on the side. Just like that, those are installed. Now for the cross member. Now when you're doing the cross member, there are four locations you can actually install them on the tire rack. What I'm gonna do is the first one, and then I'm gonna do the fourth one. I don't want these tires to hit the wall. Obviously, they got spikes, they'll make holes in the wall. But let's get installing with those, and it's easy. You just put these where you want. It comes with bolts for either side, and then a locking washer. 
So let's install these. So since these poles are uh, adjustable, I'm gonna put the thicker side towards there and maintain that appearance. Alrighty, now that is all done. Let's put the tires up there without piercing my face. Um, yeah, wish me luck. <laughs> Works perfectly without touching the wall. I love the adjustability. Let's put them all up there and call it done. Well, if you didn't think these were sharp, I just brushed my leg against them and it looks like a bear attacked me. Careful if you got ice tracing tires. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Well guys, there you go. Here is my tire rack. I highly recommend it. If you're putting up spiky tires, careful. I'm gonna need a band-aid. Well guys, thanks a lot for tuning in. If you like what you saw in this video, please hit that subscribe button. If you wanna buy anything in this video, links are in the description below. All that support helps. But until next time guys, thanks a lot for tuning in and I'll see you next time.